Thank you. So I am Dr. Farhat Isham from University of Badna. So I will provide the main results of our work in the title Steep Subthreshold Swing Nanoscale Tunnel Field Defect Transistor based on silicon tin channel and high cardioelectric gate. The presentation outline is given, is given as follows. Firstly, we start with an introduction describing the main, uh, the main advantages associated with tunnel field defect transistor, as well as the main problems associated with, with this kind of transistor. The second step is devoted to device structure and modeling framework. Uh, the result and discussion are given in the third section. And finally, we conclude with some remarks and future perspectives. Several, <coughs> several transistor designs were proposed during the, the, the last decade. Firstly, multi-gate designs have, have been studied to enhance the electrostatic behavior of the channel as well as mitigating the short channel effects. Uh, the use of high mobility quantum wall and 3.5 materials, as well as graphene materials to achieve high carrier velocity and low electric field. And lastly, the introduction of tunnel, tunnel effect to enhance the device switching characteristics uh, and uh, reducing the power consumption of the device. Despite this enhancement concerning the use of tunnel field effect transistor, uh, there remain several challenges associated with the low current ratio, noise effects, huge power consumption, con compatibility with CMOS due to the use of uh, several alloys such as silicon germanium and 3.5 materials, the high elaboration cost and stability issues. So this device should satisfy several requirements for nanoelectronic devices, such as the high on-state current, better switching characteristics, reduced energy consumption, and fully compatible with CMOS technology, and finally improved device readability. So in order to overcome these challenges, new designs and approaches are of paramount importance. The aim of the, this work is focused on the following aspects. So firstly, proposing an innovative design approach based on optimized double gate tunnel field effect transistor using thin silicon binary alloys. The development of an accurate numerical models based on tunnel effects and quantum transport. Thirdly, thirdly the, analyzing the influence of the tin mole fraction on the device switching characteristics and drive it current capability. And lastly, studying the effect of introducing high cardioelectric on the device performance. So this figure shows the cost section depiction of the proposed double gate tunnel field effect transistor device using silicon thin binary alloy. It, it can be seen from this figure that an ultra thin silicon thin material is, uh, is used for the channel source and transitions. The similar as an thin containing are considered for the regions. The investigated nanoscale dev device is taken with a short channel length less than 30 nanometers. The tunnel in fat device under investigation employs a P-type source uh, an intrinsic channel and uh, an n-type doping configuration for the the drain uh, the tunnel mechanism enhancement with an appropriate tunnel barrier at the source channel in interface for the numerical modeling of the proposed silicon tin double gate tunnel field defect transistor so the electrostatic behavior of the proposed nanoscale device incorporates the use of tunnel effects as shown in this figure, which is simulated using the no local band-to-band -band model within the Silvaco software uh, Atlas model. The current due to band-to-band -to -band tunneling uh, effect for an electron can be given by the following equations. 
for the results and this uh, discussion firstly we investigate the effect of introducing a silicon tin channel <coughs> on the uh, on the transfer characteristic of the device so this figure shows the transfer characteristic of the investigated double gate tunnel field defect transistor devices based on conventional silicon channel and silicon tin materials it can be seen from this figure that higher photo, the high, higher current of 30 microampere is achieved by considering a silicon tin channel. So the proposed design is able to provide favorable uh, current at the off state. At the off state, so this leads to enhance the device switching characteristics and power consumption of the device. To investigate the effect of tin mole fraction on the device switching behavior, uh, we extracted the swing factor as a function of the tin mole fraction near the source region. As we can see from this figure, that the swing factor is reduced to achieve the lowest its lowest value for 30% uh, of tin mole fraction in the source region. The band-to-band -band tunneling rate is also plotted in the in Figure B, we, in which we can notice that the, the the introduction of silicon tin as a channel can lead to enhanced band-to-band -band tunneling rate, as as we can notice in this figure near the interface between the source and the channel regions. This is due to the modulation of the tunnel barrier at the source drain, uh, of the source channel interface, which has led to achieve high band-to-band -band tunnel rate at, at this interface. In order to show the effect of introducing high cardioelectric on the performance of the investigated silicon tin double gate tunnel field effect transistor. So this figure shows the swing factor as a function of the gate electric permittivity at the non-scale level where the channel length is kept at 30 nanometers. So we can notice from this figure that lower subthreshold swing value values are achieved by inserting high cardioelectrics. This is attributed to the enhanced gate contour over the channel by combining silicon tin alloy and gate stack aspect. This leads to enhance the device switching characteristics and power conception aspect. So, lastly, a performance comparison between the optimized device and the conventional one based on silicon channel is carried out and the obtained, uh, obtained results are summarized in this table. We can notice that an enhanced, uh, the, the, that the use of silicon tin, silicon ch tin channel can, <coughs> can outperform the device performance, uh, often low swing factor and suppressing the impopularity uh, behavior. For the concluding remarks in this work, we proposed uh, and numerically investigated the novel double gate theme, <coughs> tunnel field defect transistor based on introducing thin silicon alloy material for the source, drain, and channel regions. So, accurate numerical models using band to band tunneling model were developed to examine the device switching characteristics. The device performance were analyzed and the, the, the source channel drain structure using tin silicon binary alloy was optimized by selecting the best tin mole fraction that allows achieving the highest performances. Also, the impact of HICA dielectric material on the device performance was explored and favorable results were achieved. So the optimized design demonstrated an improved switching characteristics, achieving a low swing factor, making it highly suitable for the emerging nanoelectronic applications. So, as a perspective of the present work, we can 
Analyze the influence of other binary alloys offering the possibility for modulating the tunnel barrier can be interesting. So further, investigate, further investigating the effect of other design parameters such as the oxide thickness and the doping seems interesting for the optimization, optimization of the device performance. Exploring new materialistic techniques such as genetic algorithm or particle swarm optimization for carrying out a global optimization framework is also of great importance. So thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, everyone. everyone. Uh, uh, thank, thank you, you for uh, being, being here today. today. My, My name is Zah Rabia. I am a researcher. I am a researcher from, from the University, University of Batna uh, 2 in, in Algeria. Algeria. Uh, today, I am, I am excited, excited to, to share, share with you uh, my, my work on topic uh, uh, performance assessment of nanoscale uh, silicon germanium high ca negative capacitance junctionless gate all around. MOSFET. Um, as we know, um, the demand for smaller, faster, and efficient electronic devices is uh, growing rapidly. And uh, this research aims to address uh, these uh, challenges. In this uh, talk, I will explain explain the motivation behind this research, the methods we used, and the key findings that contribute to advancing nanoscale transistor technologies. Uh, in this slide, we will uh, talk about uh, transistor evolution. Uh, now let's lightning. Let's move to lightning K innovation that have enabled continued device scaling, um, starting from traditional poly uh, silicon oxide technology. We see a progression towards high car metal gates and later to multiple gate architectures which improved electrostatics and career velocity at low electric fields a device scaling approached the nanometer region new uh, materials such as three five components silicon germanium and graphene were introduced providing the higher mobility and enabling further reductions in sub-threshold swing moving forward we observe the shift towards interband tunnel fats and quantum well structure critical for uh, sub seven nanometer technology. Finally, the slides hints at the future of uh, reconfigurable circuits with quantum dots, which represent the cutting edge of nanoscale device design. The aim of the work is 
investigating the impact of combining high cardi electric materials with ferroelectric materials on the performance of silicon germanium junction lens gate all around field effect transistor combining analytical and numerical models of the investigated device are carried out to model the subthreshold properties including the effect of germanium mole fraction using atlas 2d the numerical simulator achieving faster switching speed and higher drawing kern of the proposed device based on silicon germanium as a channel material Allowing further scaling abilities of the proposed nanoscale silicon germanium high ca negative capacitance junctionless gate all around MOSFET. Uh, this figure uh, uh, um, shows uh, high ca uh, negative capacitor junctionless gate all around FET structure schematic with L is the gate length and the device channel. The main idea behind re reset on the incorporation of germanium into the silicon channel can enhance the performance of the transistor by improving the career mobility and modulating the channel band cap. A ferroelectric layer of hafina is in considered for achieving negative capacitance effect. This choice is related to their reliability, allowing reduced latest mismatching effects with the silicon substrate. The next slide presents the modeling methodology used in our work. The device is modeled by Silvaco software in which several models are used, such as Shockley Reed Hall recombination model, Lombardi concentration dependent and field dependent mobility model, Boltzmann statics are used in the simulation and Poisson's equation is solved with Newton's method. So, the complex behavior of Professor our Farhati, structure... can you follow the presentation with the slides? Sorry? 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 So, Professor Ferhati, can you follow the uh, presentation with the slides? Sorry for interrupt you, Radia. Ah, uh, yes. I, I look for another. I look for another. Sorry. For another. Sorry. Yes. Uh, is it okay now, please? Are you thin? The next slide, this one. Yes, this. So, uh, the complex behavior of our uh, structure is uh, modeled by uh, Silvaco software. Uh, showing the electrostatic potential model and uh, the threshold voltage model plus the derived current model and the derived current yeah okay uh, using the, the analytical modeling uh, we can 
uh, achieve a new numerical model. So after simulation and uh, several tasks, the first result shows the surface potential profiles of the analyzed device based on germanium, silicon germanium, and the silicon channel. The surface potential is decreased as the German, germanium fraction in the silicon germanium alloy increases. It is clearly affected by the reduced voltage drop across the channel, resulting in higher carrier mobility values. Due to the effect of the material electrical properties on the transport and gate control of the channel, the channel surface potential has been influenced too. The next uh, result represents the polarization as a function of electrical field of the ferroelectrical layer. The electrical field inside the material decreases instead of increasing, which can lead to a negative contribution to, neg to, uh, to a negative contribution to the overall capacitance of the transistor. We have also simulated the um, EDS VGS characteristic of the investigated devices based on germanium, silicon germanium, and silicon channel. The derived current capability is modulated by altering the channel material. This can be explained by the effect of channel electrostatic behavior when the material is changed. The use of silicon germanium channel leads to enhanced derived current capability as compared to germanium and silicon based junctionless gate all around the negative capacitance device. Also, we have investigated the variation of the threshold voltage of the, of the investigated device as a function of the germanium mole fraction. The germanium level increase leads to increase the device threshold voltage from 0.27 volt for the conventional silicon-based device to achieve the highest value of 0.31 volt for germanium uh, mole fraction equal to 0.9. The next result is shown in this slide. It represents the variation of the threshold voltage of the investigated silicon germanium negative capacitor FET device as a function of germanium mole fraction. It is revealed that the swing factor decreases with introducing high paradigm where a lower swing factor below 31 millivolt per decade is achieved using titanium oxide. The electric material and a half in a ferroelectric layer. This is manually attributed to the role of high-card electric material 
in improving the control of the channel electrostatic behavior. The next slide shows the ADS VGS characteristic of the investigated device based on silicon germinal channel for different temperature values. It can be seen that significant changes regarding the device electrical behavior are observed when the temperature changes. We can notice that the threshold voltage and swing factor increase with the temperature increase. This effect can be explained by the decrease in the negative capacitance due to the temperature rise. This table summarizes the performance comparison between the analyzed MOSFET device and the conventional device. It is so clear that the sub threshold swing is getting smaller for the uh, oxide titanium. In this work, work, it can be concluded that the proposed junctionless gate all around negative capacitance fat device outperforms the conventional one in terms of switching characteristics and power consumption, offering a low swing factor of 31 millivolt per decade and a de decrease of state current of 2.1 10 minus x nano ampere. This enhancement can be explained by the increased gate capacitance from high carb electrics, improved carrier mobility from silicon germanium and superior electrostatic control provided by the, the gate all around structure. We believe that these innovation concepts lead to higher performance making the proposed device based on junctionless and silicon germanium channel with high cap appropriate for the emerging nanoscale electronic circuits. For the future works, as a perspective of the present work, this investigation can be extended by considering the influence of negative capacitance of the trans, uh, effect on transconductance and non-linearity parameters of the transistor. In addition, the elaboration of the optimized junctionless gate all around silicon germanium negative capacitance fat offering the highest performance is considered. Thank you for your at, uh, attention. I would be happy to take any question you may have. OK, thank you, Professor um, Flavia. Um, You're welcome. Very nice presentation. Thank so you. somebody from so the much. public uh, have a present, uh, question? No? Okay. So we are uh, short on time. So we only have uh, 12 minutes. So can you fit your uh, next presentation in those uh, 12 minutes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. go ahead with the next presentation, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. So much.
Um, okay, uh, we will start the second uh, uh, paper research uh, titled sub threshold swing performance assessment of nanoscale junctionless gate all around fat using machine learning approach so our work will start by the introduction and uh, then the device structure with the modeling methodology used the machine learning and the results section and then the conclusion and uh, the future work Sorry. Yes. As semiconductor technology continues to scale down, achieving high performance energy efficient devices is crucial for the next generation of electronics. This figure shows the device scaling from 1976 to 2024. It's shown that the last decade, uh, 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 a big uh, uh, approach to the nanoscale um, device is uh, preferred. The junctionless gate all around FET are a promising solu solution for nanoscale transistors due to their enhanced electrostatic control, which reduces leakage current ability to maintain performance as the device size shrinks. The second slide, yes, uh, this slide represent the subtly short swing uh, and how efficiently a transistor switches off by showing the change in drain current ID with respect to gate voltage in the subtly short region. A real device exhibit higher access values. Um, sorry, don't yeah. real device, yes, due to the various no ideal effects such as short channel effects and interface traps. So this figure represent the log logarithmic ID to VGS curve of a typical MOS transistor showing the exponential behavior of the sub threshold region. Next, this uh, figure uh, represents a 3D visual of a junctionless gate all around the fat showing the gate structure and the channel junctionless fat eliminate uh, the need for pn junction with a uniformly doped channel simplifying fabrication and reducing resistance in gate all around uh, architecture the gate fully surrounds as it is shown in the figure the gate fully surrounds the channel offering maximum electrostatic control essential for minimizing leakage and short channel effects in nanoscale transistor
concerning the challenging changes in assessing subthreshold swing traditional methods due to the quantum effects and increasing device complexity became less effective as device scaled down. This is leads to new approaches, machine learning approaches by analyzing vast amount of data and capturing nonlinear relationships provide more efficient and accurate means to model and predict assess behavior. This slide present the uh, structure schematic of our device investigated. The proposed nanoscale junction less gate all around fat divide with relevant physical models, including quantum mechanical effects and transport phenomena, career mobility and recombination mechanisms. The device is considered with junctionless structure for which the channel region is considered anti-type uniformly doped with concentration varying from 5.19 to 10.20 centimeter per centimeter cap. The modeling methodology used to investigate our uh, uh, device uh, is shown on that slide. The quantum effects and the mobility degradation and the no idealities relevant to nanoscale devices are all used uh, as the current voltage characteristic and SS factor were, were extracted. They are needed for training and evaluating various machine learning models. The device and the investigated device is modeled by Silvaco software and in which the Lombardi model, the Shockley Reed Hall recombination and Auger recombination are considered. In this work, 60, 640 samples were numerically, numerically generated, representing a comprehensive range of device behaviors across multiple configurations. The result and discussion of our work started by the, this figure, which represent the machine learning workflow in, in, in comprising data acquisition, visualization, interpretation, pre-processing, training, and comparative analysis using various classification metrics. The first uh, uh, chart presented here uh, uh, displays the frequency distribution across three categories extremely worst, worst, and uh, good. As we can see, the uh, extremely worst category has the highest frequency, followed by worst, and finally good, with the lowest count. This indicates a larger concentration in the more negative assessment, which could reflect a need 
for improvement in the measured variable. The next uh, figure shows uh, a data set scatters. This class scatter plot indicates a degree of complexity necessitating specific data processing steps to enhance data representativeness. The future gain analysis in our approach highlights that the channel reduce is the most significant factor affecting the sub threshold swing. Compared to previous studies, our machine learning model provides more accurate SS predictions, especially for smaller radius, as it is shown in table one. Suppressing traditional empirical methods and offering a deeper understanding of how design parameters impact device performance. And this is was our aim purpose. Main purpose, sorry. <laughs> okay. The uh, next slide represent the classification results of machine learning methods. The selected machine learning models were evaluated using various metrics with results in under threefold cross validation. The models were ranked based on the area under curve results, which uh, is the first uh, column. Yeah, which random forest achieving the best performance, and it is so clear in the table, followed by the other classifiers. This highlights the effectiveness of random forests in this context. At the end, we conclude our work by. Uh, 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 highlighting that this, this study presents a comprehensive classification of the sub threshold swing factor in a nanoscale 20 nanometer junctionless gate all around FET using a combined machine learning approach and 3D numerical simulations via Silvaco. Among the tested models, random forest achieved the highest accuracy in classifying the quality of the, the sub-threshold swing factor, outperf outperforming alternative algorithms due to its robustness in handling complex interactions between features. K results reveal the significant influence of channel reduce and device performance, indicating its critical role in optimizing nanoscale junctionless gate all around fat designs. This approach not only enhances the predictive power for sub threshold characteristics, but also identifies essential parameters, aiding the development of more efficient transistors at the na nanoscale. Of course, there is a challenges and limitations. Among them, we, we say that models like decision trees and random forest may overfit when applied to small or imbalanced data sets, reducing their generalization to new data. Or, and 
algorithms such as support vector machine and k nearest neighbors often struggle with high dimensional or non-linear data unless carefully tuned. Careful feature selection and pre-processing are crucial. Noisy or relevant features can degrade performance across most machine learning models. Uh, at the end, thank you all once again for your time and interest in this uh, work. And uh, um, I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, thank you, Professor Radia, for, for your um, contribution and lecture. So we are running out of time. We have um, uh, another um, session. So we appreciate uh, your contribution. And also thank you to Professor Ferhati. Um, and I think that's all. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.